Hi, I'm Maria, and this is Oz Costumes. So you're gonna have to deal with the fact that I don't have a full face of makeup on today because the thought of putting all that makeup on my face just makes me want to puke because we've been going through a heat wave and it's been muggy and I just don't want to deal with it. So you deal with it. So before we get into today's video, I just want to mention the fact that we have passed 500 subscribers. Yeah! yeah! But really, thank you so, so much for getting me to this milestone. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so, so, so much. As a thank you for reaching 500 subscribers, I will do a sewing room tour, so stay tuned for that. And if you are interested in cosplay related content, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell and leave a comment down below telling me what you would like to see from me next. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about a trend that was going around on Twitter last week or so, like, like a couple weeks ago, and it was a picture that said uh, confessions that can get your cosplay card revoked and there were a couple funny responses I was laughing out loud to some of them um, but I was kind of thinking about it and I overthought things as I usually do so I was thinking what does get your cosplay card revoked and I really thought about it a lot so I'll share my thoughts with you later but first I want to talk about the responses that I got from you guys on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and in case you don't follow me there, follow me there on those platforms. It's a fun time. So just a quick disclaimer before I get into the video. I'm not sure what the protocol is as far as name dropping or saying people's names. So I'm just going to keep everything anonymous for now. And that's just to cover my butt. So let's get into what you guys had to say. The first one is using hairspray as setting spray. Uh, so I believe this is referring to body paint. Let me just say that, that that doesn't sound like it's the most healthy thing. Um, I don't think it gets your cosplay card revoked though because the person in question might not have the proper information or the proper resources. Uh, they just might not know any better and that's what learning is for. So um, no cosplay card revoked but, but please make sure that you take care of your health and that you are taking the necessary precautions to be looking out for your health. The next one is not pressing your seams and going on the con floor with them unpressed. So with me, you would not catch me dead with unpressed seams or an unpressed costume. However, again, somebody just might not know any better. When you're self-taught in these things, you might not know to press open your seams, or you might not know to, um, you might not even have an iron. You might not have, you might not know that ironing is a thing or that steaming is a thing. Um, it just, you never know the circumstances and somebody just might be a beginner. So your cosplay card is not revoked, I don't think, because we, we all start somewhere and we all, whether it be starting off with costumes with unpressed seams and we all grow from there so not revoked next one is wearing just a superhero logo t-shirt and saying it's your cosplay now i see where this person is coming from uh it depends on the context like it might be just it might just be a lazy con day. Like sometimes people just don't feel like putting on a costume. Costumes aren't comfortable. Like what if it's the last day of the con and you're like, all I wanna do is just wear my Superman t-shirt. <laughs> and it could be just a casual cosplay too. So you don't know, you don't know the circumstances. Um, so cosplay card, not revoked. So the next one, I hate wigs, so I only do characters with similar to mine or achievable with mine. Now, I totally understand where this person is coming from because wigs can be quite uncomfortable. It's just putting like another layer of heat on your head and it just, oh, it can be so uncomfortable. <laughs> Most costumes aren't meant for comfort and so, I mean, some people just don't want to be uncomfortable when they cosplay so like not wanting to put on a wig 
totally get that. And if you can do, if you can do that with your costumes, if you can use your own hair, sure, why not? So cosplay card, not revoked. Okay, so next one is I hot glue nearly everything. Here's the thing though. I have a couple friends that hot glue their cosplays together and they, they're pretty, they've made their way in the cosplay community and they're pretty well known so clearly they're doing something right. I mean, not everybody likes to sew. And this next one is kind of along the same lines, uh, it's when I don't feel like sewing I use fabric tape. So some people just don't like to sew, like they want to cosplay but they just don't want to sew and that's okay, like you're still cosplaying, like I, I get that. The meticulous person inside me absolutely will not let me let myself hot glue something, but I mean, I, not everybody's like me. So cosplay cards, not revoked. So let me get into more of the serious ones. IDK, but should be banned from ever receiving any type of cosplay benefits. That's my opinion though. Let's just get that hot boiling cup of tea. <laughs> so again, the reason why I censored that name is because I don't want to start anything. I don't want to draw that kind of attention. It's... I don't feel... I don't know how I feel about name dropping, okay? <laughs> but I will say that this cosplayer was accused of sexual harassment and to put it as professionally as I can, that is not behavior I condone in any way. You should not be using your cosplays as an excuse for that kind of behavior. That is absolutely unacceptable and that's not behavior I support or condone. So that's what I have to say about that. The next one is being harmful to the community, body shaming, being racist, etc. Everyone can cosplay. And that is absolutely right. Everyone can cosplay. Uh, along the same line, somebody else said, being mean to people, that's it. Bad sewing habits and other stuff doesn't matter if you're having fun. Amen. I completely agree. Two people mentioned black facing. Yeah, that, that would get your cosplay card revoked. And that's all the responses I have, so let's get into what I think what gets your cosplay card revoked. So just to start, Cosplay in itself covers such a broad spectrum of people. Everybody has different standards as far as cosplay is concerned. Not everybody is into craftsmanship, and some people just want to buy their costumes, and that's absolutely fine on either end. You can be competitive, ready, and you can want to build costumes for competing, and you can be absolutely meticulous in your sewing, and that's okay. And other people, they might not care as much about competing. They might only be interested in actually just wearing the costume and going to cons and having fun. Um, both people are having fun and both people are cosplayers. Like, it's as simple as that. And not everybody is a professional. There's a lot of amateurs in cosplay and that's absolutely fine. So cosplay just covers all sorts of people. So to like, hold everybody to the same standard and to like revoke cosplay cards based on certain you know certain like trivial things like pressing up in your seams or uh, using your hair instead of a wig that that's just it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like that is fair and if that's the case then everybody's cosplay card at some point was revoked and again people learn. People have to start from somewhere. I was 100% self-taught when I was cosplaying it to begin with. I didn't press open my seams when I was a beginner. I didn't really like iron my costumes very much and so like, in, I made some costumes that looked so bad. <laughs> like, but everybody does. Like everybody starts out like that. You, you don't have you don't, you're not born Michelangelo, or you're not born Leonardo da Vinci. And to hold those standards immediately to someone who enters right into the cosplay community is not right. Like, and that being said, not everyone is into craftsmanship. Again, I mentioned this before, but like, not everyone is interested in building an elaborate costume. Uh, some people just might want to go off and buy their own costume, and that's okay. And by the way, to those people who complain 
and are like, oh, they just bought their cosplay. Um, if we didn't have people that bought costumes, then the people who live off of commissions and making costumes for others wouldn't have a market. So thank you people who buy your costumes. <laughs> so what does get your cosplay card revoked? And some of you guys mentioned some really good points before and let me just elaborate more on, on them with my own thoughts. So one way to get your cosplay card revoked would be so using cosplay as an excuse to do nasty things uh, to people who do not have consent or for things that otherwise would not be seen as appropriate to do. Um, just as a side note, guys, make sure you're being safe at conventions and have a buddy with you at all times. But yeah, that would get your cosplay card revoked pretty quickly in my opinion. Cosplay elitism is another very fast way to get your cosplay card revoked. Basically, if you are a cosplayer that, you know, might have more costumes under your belt, you might have more experience, you might, you might be an industry professional, you might uh, just be really heavily invested in craftsmanship. If you're one of those people that looks at someone who clearly is entry level and um, just, you know, just starting to learn and kind of sneering at them and looking down at them, that gets your cosplay card revoked pretty quickly. Another thing that would get your cosplay card revoked is judging people with their cosplay choices based on their skin color. So someone who is darker skinned can cosplay Wonder Woman. Someone who is lighter skinned can cosplay Korra. It, you can cosplay who you want. And if somebody says that either of those people can't cosplay those characters based on their skin color, your cosplay card's revoked and you're a jerk. <laughs> Along those same lines, if you are judging people based on their body type for what they choose to cosplay, then that is also not okay. Cosplay is not a casting call. Cosplay is for fun. And just like, just being disrespectful in general just gets your cosplay card revoked. Like it's it's as simple as that. Too long didn't read, don't be a jerk. Yeah, so I mean, that's it. Like you can buy your costume, you can hot glue your costume together, you can go around in casual costumes. I, you None of that revokes your cosplay card. So, what do you guys think? Do you have anything else to add to what I said? Leave a comment down below. And don't forget, if you have not already, to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Keep an eye out for that sewing room tour to thank you guys for 500 subscribers. And I will see you in the next video.